The uh, SpaceX team continuing to monitor Dragon during these last couple of minutes of flight. You see the CEO of SpaceX there, Elon Musk, sitting there on the front row. Two and a half minutes left until Splashdown Dragon continuing to uh, fly as expected. Everything uh, looking good, everything green. The uh, Splashdown area still targeted for about 560 miles off the coast of Baja, California. Again, the recovery vessels are in the area. They've been on station for the last several hours. They're ready to support the uh, landing of Dragon. There is a, a very large barge, a big ship out there that uh, SpaceX uses to pluck Dragon out of the ocean. And the SpaceX team is confirming that uh, Dragon has successfully splashed down at 10.42 a.m. Central Time. Once again, 10.42 a.m. Central Time, Dragon is in the water. What the team is now doing is uh, confirming the location so they can relay that to the recovery vessels. This is Mission Control Houston once again. The uh, SpaceX team confirming that Dragon is in the water. Splashdown occurred at 10.42 a.m. Central Time, 11.42 a.m. Eastern. Once we uh, hear the exact location of the vehicle, we will pass it on to you. They have to uh, use the locator devices on Dragon to figure out the exact latitude and longitude so they can relay that to the recovery vessels. The uh, crew of Expedition 31 getting an update on the uh, Dragon recovery efforts. We have reports from our team out there that the NASA plane uh, does spot Dragon's parachutes in the water. They have uh, reduced their altitude to go down below the clouds. There's some pretty thick clouds in the area above the recovery zone, so they were having some trouble uh, spotting Dragon from their current uh, flight path. So they went down below. Uh, the deck a bit to uh, take a look at it. They did spot the chutes in the water. And uh, SpaceX also confirming that uh, Dragon did land at 27 degrees latitude, 120 degrees longitude, which puts it uh, pretty much right on target. So again, 27 degrees latitude. 120 degrees longitude. The uh, recovery boats report contact with Dragon, so they have spotted it in the water. They will head over there and begin the process of uh, releasing the main chutes and then uh, getting it out of the water. 
So again, coordinates 27 degrees latitude north, 120 degrees west longitude, which uh, puts it on target. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, to summarize, splashdown was confirmed at 10.42 a.m. Central Time. The reentry of Dragon went uh, according to the timeline, with the exception that splashdown happened a couple minutes early. But that is in line with uh, what happens during water landings. The spacecraft splashed down at 27 degrees north latitude and 120 degrees west longitude. The uh, recovery boats have made contact with Dragon. They are heading out there to uh, begin the process of recovery. The NASA P-3 plane that is uh, flying overhead has uh, gone down to a lower altitude to get down below the clouds to see if we can get some visual of it. They did spot the uh, parachutes in the water, which helped the boats uh, confirm. And they are attempting to send us a video of Dragon uh, there in the water. The uh, dragon there still sitting in the water of the Pacific Ocean. You can uh, make it out if you look there in the center of the screen. Joe Acaba, Don Pettit, and Andre Kuypers were working uh, together to detach Dragon from the International Space Station. Everything went uh, without a hitch. Dragon was released over the Southern Ocean at 4.49 a.m. Central Time, 5.49 a.m. Eastern Time. After that, it conducted a series of quick burns to back it away from the station. And then it got set up for the uh, deorbit burn which was conducted at 9.51 a.m. Central Time, right on time. The burn lasted 9 minutes 50 seconds. It slowed Dragon down by 100 meters per second. That was enough to begin the process of bringing it back into the Earth's atmosphere. It went into entry interface right at 10.25 a.m. Central Time. The drogue chutes were deployed at 10.35. Shortly after that, at 1036, that's when the main parachutes were deployed, and then splashdown occurred at 1042. So again, 1042 a.m. Central Time, 1142 a.m. Eastern Time. That is our official splashdown time for the Dragon spacecraft at 27 degrees north latitude, 120 degrees west longitude. They're almost right on the dots. So they're about 560 miles to the west of Baja, California.
This is Mission Control Houston, as you can see from our video, Dragon continuing to uh, bob there in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, recovery teams are still heading toward the spacecraft to uh, continue the operations there and to uh, get it out of the water, get it on board the uh, ship that SpaceX has contracted with to go out there and uh, do these operations. This is Mission Control Houston. As we keep on looking at uh, the Dragon spacecraft there in the Pacific Ocean, we have the official mission elapsed time for you. Total mission duration was nine days, seven hours, and 58 minutes. Once again, total Dragon mission elapsed time, nine days, seven hours, and 58 minutes.